Our next guest is a uh, wonderful new comedian who's making his uh, first appearance with us tonight. We couldn't be happier. Uh, he can be seen regularly at uh, New York's Boston Comedy Club right here in town. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a nice warm welcome to Dave Chappelle. Dave, come on up. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got to tell you guys, that was a beautiful New York welcome. I was in New York City three years ago. No nice welcomes. I got off the bus at the Port Authority. I was all happy. I said, oh, New York City at last. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> this whole bus station stinks. Nah, it'll probably clear up when I get outside. <laughs> Every two blocks, I smell something I never smelled before in my life. <laughs> Nobody told me black people can't catch cabs in New York. I tried to catch a cab at, at the Port Authority. A, a crowd started forming. Everyone just looking at me. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna be disappointed. I was all naive. I just... Taxi! Hmm, must not have seen me. Taxi! No Brooklyn! Hmm. First time I caught a cable on the first try, it scared the hell out of me. I don't know how to feel about it. I just, taxi! Uh, you better go ahead. I mean, I'm not trying to say that being black is all bad. We got our perks. Like, you guys, uh, take terrorism, for example. That's pretty good. A terrorist has never taken a black hostage in the history of the world. You will never see a black guy on the news reading one of those letters. They is treating us good. Never. True. You know why they don't take black hostages? Why? Because we're bad bargaining chips. <laughs> they would call up the White House, hello! We have got five black people! And we will... Hello? Now, don't tense up on me. I want you guys to think I'm like an angry black guy. I mean, I am an angry black guy, but... You know what I mean? I have a right to be an angry black guy, though. It's different for me. See, I don't know if you guys believe in reincarnation or not, but I have been black four lives in a row. I need a break. You know what I mean? When I was younger, I was real angry. Like, you wouldn't know looking at me, you'd say, what a nice-looking guy. Mm, mm, mm. Well, I got suspended from junior high school 23 times during February. <laughs> I was right. One time I got hold of all my teachers' home phone numbers. Now, I feel bad about it now, but at the time it was hilarious. I started calling in death threats. I called my English teacher, Mr. Johnson. He was all nice. He just, hello. Is this Mr. Johnson? <laughs> uh, yes it is, and who might this be? You're a dead man. <laughs> who is this? Don't worry about that, punk. You're gonna die. <laughs> Unless you change David Chappelle's grades. <laughs> Click! I'm telling you, man. You get older, though, you start seeing things for what they are. See, I'm not angry anymore. I think it's more a paranoia. I'm what they call a racially paranoid person. You know what I mean? Like, I just started eating chicken in front of white people like three weeks ago. <laughs> I'm very proud to say. Before, I was too scared. I know it sounds crazy. I always thought you might say something. Like, I'd be eating some chicken. <gasps> Look at him. He loves it. <laughs> Joe 
just like it's in the encyclopedia. <laughs> they love chicken. <laughs> Oh, easy. Don't laugh too much. We got stereotypes for white people, too. <laughs> this one is kind of crazy. I hope you don't get mad. Don't be mad. When I was little, I used to think that all white people, don't get angry. <laughs> I thought all white people were, were happy. <laughs> just to be white. I know it sounds silly, man. I thought you guys just walked around. Hallelujah, I'm white. This is wonderful. I feel like I'm king of the hill, top of the heap, <laughs> A number one. Taxi, er, just checking. Go ahead. You, did, you didn't bring your own in, did you? Oh, no, no, but I still about taking that one. <laughs> All right, no, no. Everything's inventoried. I'm going to collect this. <laughs> nice job, Dave. Thank you very much. How old a guy are you? I'm 20. I'll be 21 a week from today. Man, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty damn good. I feel good about it. You're doing well for yourself, then. Yeah, well, you know, things are really picking up. I'm a long way from where I started, which is always a good thing. Yeah. You were, you were just uh, overseas. You were in England, London. Is that where you were? Yes, man. Man, I'm going to tell you something. I went to England. I found out it was a fact that, that the police really don't carry guns. That's right. That's which right, I thought man. was like a myth, man. People still listen to them. <laughs> it's true, man. You know what they got? They, they got these whistles. <laughs> it's like the most amazing thing. I saw a guy running from the cops, like 15 cops chasing him. I think he stole a pencil or something. <laughs> <laughs> now, this guy is running. I mean, he is really, I mean, I thought he was going to get away. All of a sudden, he just, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? like... Dave, good to have you here. Happy oh. birthday, sir. Come hey, back and see us. Man. Dave Chappelle, me. ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back to Dachshund Races.